Hello and welcome to the Ticking All The Boxes Melbourne Cup Preview for 2012 where we are going to run through and look at all these horses one by one and tell you what we think, which probably doesn't mean very much. Nick Ashman. Hello Clint, how are you? Good, you? Yeah. Um, I'm alright. Yeah? Yeah. yeah? What do you know? Uh, I know it's a lovely sunny day in Melbourne. I how know good is it? walking out to get some KFC about half an hour ago that it's... Pretty warm. And we're recording this at half past eight in the morning. Yep. Is there a watch on that hand or did you just look at your forearm? <laughs> yeah, past the freckle on the mole's <laughs> catching up. Oh, oh. That's, that's the kind of form we're in right now. Outstanding. Uh, yeah, great Good derby day. day. Great yeah. derby day yesterday. So, um, yeah, the cup's on Tuesday. Cup's on Tuesday. So we're just going to do the preview of the cup. Yep. And then, time permitting, uh, on Monday we'll do a quick run through of what we like from the rest of the card because we haven't done any form yet. So, yeah. All right, let's go from the top. Now, they're moving the rail out two metres. Not that it matters because Flemington's 100 metres wide. Um, yep. Dead four ish. I'd say the sting will be out early in the day and, yep. you know, it'll dry out whether it gets to a good three. Just depends on how much they want to pan it to the Europeans. Europeans, yeah. All right, uh, Dunedin is the top weight in the cup. Now, his odds courtesy of sports bet, he's eased since Barry draw from $7 to seven fifty. Okay. What are you saying about him? Um, I think his pet distance is 2,400 metres. I'm not alone there. But, um, and I think last year he won the Melbourne Cup. He had the, I think he had 55 or 55 and a half. Was it all 54? It was a fair bit less than this anyway. I, don't know. I probably should have checked that. Um, I'm just concerned going up to the 59 and having to go back out the two miles. I'm just a little bit concerned about that. I've got no doubt in his class. He's just an awesome horse. He's a slow maturing type. 54 and a half. 54 and a half, thank you. Um, he's a slow maturing type and they're the ones that tend to keep winning these handicap races. But I, I, I can't have him. I haven't got him in my top four. You've got to respect him. Oh, without he's, a shadow of doubt. He's a high quality he's a star. Horse. He's a top shelf animal. He um, <coughs> he switches off. He, he's got that turn of foot, that acceleration. Yeah, he goes up to 59. It's probably an extra kilo. He carried 58 in the Caulfield Cup. And he's still sprinting straight past them. Yep. Um, won't surprise me one bit to see him win, but $7.50, I won't be backing him. But that's just me. Yeah. And look, there's a lot Doesn't of... Doesn't tickle my fancy backing horses in single figures in Melbourne Cups. No, and uh, I don't know. Look, 59, there's a lot of talk about the weight carrying records and that, but I'm not sure how relevant they are given well, the weight scales Well, they're not relevant, mate, because changed. the minimum's 51, so they're not relevant, are they? Well, I was just going to say that, but you sort of cut me off. But Yeah, well, it's 51, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, the, I know, that's what I was going to say. All right. Well, you'd be on the money saying that, wouldn't you? Number two is American. $5 out of 550 well, you go first, so that way I don't get cut off this time. Oh, God, you're a princess. Um, no, he's, look, why, why can't he win? He's a high-class animal. Um, Gerard off, Damien on, Oliver's been flying. 58, he can carry it. He's a big lump. He's run the Caulfield Cup, was awesome. Some say he should have won the Melbourne Cup last year. Uh, to do what he's got to do to win a Melbourne Cup in 2010 then come back two years later, he'll be the first horse to do it since Peter Pan, which was a long, long time ago. He so was going is. around when the Don was batting. Yeah. Um, can't say why he can't. Yeah. I don't know. I, I, I don't think he's going any better than he was last year. And I know people make a case that he, he should have won, but I don't think he's going any better. He's got to carry the same weight. The only thing he gets in his favour is he gets... He meets June and better at the weights, but... Um, There's two things in his favour. He's got a bloke on his back who's not allergic to aluminium. No. That helps. That helps. All right, look, I, I just don't think he's going any better than he was last year, so I can't have him. Does he need to? I think so, yeah. I think this is a better field this year than it was last year. All right. Uh, number three, Jackalbury. What's he? He's 41 to 61. Do you want to lead off here? All right. Uh, he was unlucky in the Caulfield Cup. Um, but I, I, it's hard to get a gauge. He was stuck out three wide. And um, <clears throat> it was one of the rides at Colm O'Donoghue. I know he's a good rider overseas, but these blokes seem to get lost when they come out here. 
uh, and that was the case for him in the Caulfield Cup. So you could probably put the pen through it. His run before that was good over in the, over in the US. Um, I haven't got him. I don't know about you, but I haven't got him. Well, one thing's certain, it'll be 3D, because he's drawn yeah. 19. So yeah. he's got 18 underneath him. Yeah. So You'd think so, That's the you? one thing that's certain. He could be 4D, this one. <laughs> um, oh, I thought his Caulfield Cup was only fair. Yeah. Oh, he's not, not sort of profile for me. No. No. Doesn't fit it, does he? No. All right. No, he can't win, surely. Mm. All right, number four, Red Cutto. $10 out to 11 10 out to 11 He's got the uh, Barrier 18. No horse has ever won from Barrier 18. Ooh. But here's something that I... You know, there's a bit of talk like Gaze, that Glen Cadam Gold, he's had a couple of niggling things, and there always seems to be a scratching on, on the morning of the... Well, not always, but quite often there's a scratching on the morning of the Melbourne Cup. I just wonder, he might actually come into Barrier 17. And Jackalbury might end up in 18. So what happens then? Well, it makes no difference to Jackalbury. Can't win anyway. <laughs> uh, he's a big chance, Ricky, though. When what? I went out to Werribee last week... Are you saying Glen Cannon Gold's going to be scratched? No, I'm just saying that they've had... They've obviously had a couple of problems with him. They've paid up, they've accepted. But, you know, in, in years gone by, whenever there's been a couple of niggling issues with a horse, it's not uncommon for them to pay up and then still be scratched. And okay. They've won plenty of money off him this spring, so they'll take the risk and, and pay the money and I'd whatnot. Haven't the vets cleared him, but yeah, the vets have cleared him. They cleared Ethiopia, so it should be okay. But oh. anyway, um, Red Kiddo, mate, he looked enormous out at uh, wherever he during the week. Like enormous, really, really good. Again, he comes here this year without having to run in Australia. Uh, we know that's not a problem for him though, because he went within the bees willy of getting it last year. The <laughs> bees willy. <laughs> uh, Michael Rod, <laughs> Barry, eighteen. Probably not too bad. He's a big sort of striding chestnut, so he might be better suited on the on the outside of horses anyway. Uh, he's one that doesn't want too much rain. I know he's got five starts for a win and, and three thirds on the slow, but I'm pretty sure last year when they came out, they said they don't want any rain. So um, well, I could definitely have him, but I haven't got him in my top four because you've just got to put the pen through some, don't you? Yeah. Look, he's he's a live hope for sure. Um, hmm. He showed last year he's, he's got the he's got the right makeup to win a race like this. Uh, everything appears to be going according to plan. Yeah. He's the one horse of the horses that haven't raced here that yeah. I can sort of believe in. Yeah. Um, the rest of them you wouldn't have a clue. So, but this horse, <clears throat> he's raced better in Europe this season. Yep. So if anything, he's only better, uh, and he hasn't been crunched at the weights. No, he's so, still got that winnable weight, doesn't he? That's right. So, no, nah, I definitely think he's got claims. He's a definite chance for sure. What, what, um, what was that stat we worked out the other day? The last horse to run second and come back the next year was, was it Empire Rose? No, it was, no, it was terrific. No, it wasn't. It was Brew, 99. 2000. Brew won it in 2000. He ran in 99. He ran about 10th. No, no, to run second. Oh. And, then, and then win was, um, uh, would have been Empire Rose, wouldn't it? Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Yeah, no, I don't know. Sorry, I mean, I meant the last horse to win a cup that had run the previous okay. year. Did Brew run, did he? No, yep. I didn't realise that. There you go. Yeah. Alright, number five is Winchester. Uh, what have we got here? Winchester is 41 out of 51. Stays all day. Um, probably sand down cup horse, without a shadow of a doubt. If he goes there, he'd be a nice sand down cup horse. Uh, I can't, I thought his run in the McKinnon was pretty good yesterday. Yeah, it was okay. Yeah, it wasn't bad. Um, suited by the hot tempo, obviously. And his run in the Caulfield Cup was okay, but, you know, you look at a horse like Junidun and, and so forth, they've just got a better turn of foot than him. And this is the kind of horse who 15, 20 years ago probably would have gone all right in the Melbourne Cup. Mm. But uh, nowadays you just need that ping, and I can't see him figuring. Nah, he's too slow for me. Mm. He, he's, you know, if, you've, if you can get better than even money than finishing the top 10, maybe something like that. But, yeah. But, um, Actually, that's a good bit, yeah, because he'll, he'll be probably more than home no, home. Only worry I've got, he had a bit of a problem there leading in the McKinnon, and yeah. it was a pretty firm track there on Saturday. See how he put... So, I mean, I'm sure, no, well, I'm sure, he, you know, if he's going to run, he's pulled up yeah. fine, but it just, he might feel that mm. come Tuesday. Yep. But I can't imagine him winning. Okay. I can't imagine him winning. Number six, Volo Ichi, 151 bucks. What about the average age of these horses, mate? Seven, so far, seven, eight, seven, seven, eight. Yeah, now they're all, eight. They're all from overseas, mate, and they do it different over there. They yeah. don't run them at two. Well, one thing's for sure and certain with Volo Ichi, I reckon. I oh, said so he's going to lead? He's the bunny. Yeah. <laughs> he's the bunny. He is. The, the, only, the, only, the only problem is 
when they get to the turn, just get out of his way when he's stopping. Oh, well, are we having visions of Sunshine Sally? Oh, Sunshine Sally. 1991. Sunshine Sally. No, uh, please. Funny thing is, is that this guy was going all right until the Caulfield Cup. He was going pretty good. Yeah. Well, have a look. Yeah, he's I'm run right, fourth yeah, in a Turnbull, yeah. second in an Underwood Stakes behind Ocean, beaten half a length by Ocean Park at Way for Age. Yeah. It's pretty good form. So, you know, like... You're forgiving him for his Caulfield Cup? Well, I can't have him, but you know what they say, you've got to forgive a horse for one bad run and who knows. December Draw was the other horse that was up on the speed in that race and he went terribly in the McKinnon. In the so, McKinnon? Yeah, yes, sir. Like, the three leaders in that Caulfield Cup were Volici, Glen Cannon Gold, oh, December see. Draw. Yep, yep. One of them's run since, yep. December Draw, and, and it was good. terrible. So I couldn't have him. Yeah. I, I see what you're saying, but like, yeah, like maybe he, a dollar the place. Well, he's the kind of horse you could chuck in your first fours, and you know, he might just, he might have a give a yelp, I don't know. Yeah. All right. So we're giving him none, basically. Or are we no. giving him a little bit of a glimmer? I of think hope? he's the kind of horse you want to just chuck into a multi, just because he's going to be right up there on the pace. He'll, he'll give you a sight. All right. Yeah. Number seven, Cavalry Man, Frankie. Last time we yeah, had the yeah. with Frankie coming out here. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> it's half the he's only winning, isn't it? 51 to 41. Didn't Karen ride that? Oh, Karen probably did, yeah. <laughs> did, no, Frankie got one home once, didn't he? No, uh, he Frankie. Not. He's an yeah. entertainer. All right. What are we saying about this horse? Um, oh, it's hard. I mean, look, he's another one. He just comes out here with, <clears throat> you know. Well, hard to line up. He's a lovely looking horse. Jeez, he's a good looking horse. Him and American. If you're, a, if you're a mare, you'd be making a beeline for these two. Yeah. Oh yeah, he's a good looking horse. All right. Okay. I'm tipping. He knows his way around those fillies. All right. Um, <laughs> well, I can't. You know what his stable name is? What? Nick. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, <laughs> I don't. Look, call me no. Call me Aaron. Call me whatever you want. And all like plenty do. Um, <laughs> any of these horses that come out here, the know they're start, I just pan them, all right? Because I've been burnt too many times in past years by them, and yeah. I'll get caught once or twice, but more often than not, I won't. So I just, I've got no interest in them, um, which detracts on my interest from in this race overall because I can't really have a bet. But well, obviously, a lot of people think like you, mate, because the turnover seems to be well, dropping, doesn't it? Yeah. So no, I've got no interest in this horse. Um, and don't forget, it was me who got the pasting on the, our website, not you, after our last show. Oh, yeah, but I've got plenty before. Yeah. They're all sick of giving it to me. <laughs> uh, yeah, mate, look, I, I'm, I'm not so much with you. No, I don't mind backing them when they come out. You love them. them. Yeah, I like the internationals. You but, love them. But um, I just can't line his form up properly. I just, he's got different it's form different to these other ones. It's different form to the others, isn't it? The others yeah. all tie in at certain places. And look, Godolphin will win, will win this race sooner or later, but... You know, I just can't imagine if Frankie. Cool, won't, because they you know have what will He'll come out and win. It'll be Frankie's last go. It'll be Godolphin's first win. It'll be the story of the Melbourne Cup. Carnival. He'll come back and he'll jump off it. Yeah. Imagine if he jumped off it and fell over, flattened his head. Broke his leg or something. Oh, I didn't say that. <laughs> That's awful. Anyway, all right. Um, number eight, Mount Athos. Mm. Here we go. Eight dollars into seven. He's one of yours. You love these yeah, horses. I love. It. This is a good horse. Yeah. Um, Mate, I th this guy's this guy's. When I came to Melbourne for the, for the carnival, when I came down a couple of weeks ago, or well, feels like about a year ago now, <laughs> uh, he was the one that I wanted to back. He was the one I couldn't wait to get out to wherever and see. When I went out and saw him, I thought my quest for beasts shaded him in track work. Mm -hmm. um, but his his career best run was his last start, which is always a real good thing going into a Melbourne Cup. And um, I'm just again Ryan Moore. You know, it's Luca. Why did, why wasn't Damien Oliver booked for this horse? I don't I don't know. Like obviously the owners wanted Ryan Moore, I assume, or someone. Yeah, did. well, it's not owned by um, OTI. OTI. No. So it's a pommy horse, probably pommy owned. You know, Ryan Moore's flying in today, from what I'm told. He's not going to Flemington. He's going to rock up on Melbourne Cup Day. Good. Um, that's the only thing I've got against this horse. Otherwise, I'd love to back him. And also, we should have mentioned this at the top of the show. Actually, it's the tracks are what is it? A good three? Dead, Dead four. four. And we're looking at possible rain? Oh, there's chances. I, I've looked at the forecast. They're only, they're only saying four or five mils up till Tuesday. Okay, well, if it's dry, I give him a massive hope. A massive, he's in my top four. All right. I just said before what I think yeah. of these horses that don't start here. He does look well credentialed, there's no doubt about that, but I'm not putting my hard earned on Ryan Moore at Flemington, that's for sure. <laughs>